Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Elmo, this guy, Karjalainen, this guy, because my surname can be a bit difficult to pronounce. It's good to have you along. Today I'm taking a look at the purple plexifier by One Control, which, which promises to plexify your amplifier. And I'll be right back after this intro. <laughs> Okay, so today I'm taking a look at the Purple Plexifier by One Control. This pedal is a distortion pedal that promises to plexify your amplifier. Now, I have a bit of a problem because I have a plexi, so I don't know how much it can be plexified more. But we'll see what it sounds like in a second. The pedal is a small compact pedal, which is always good for your pedal board because it saves space. And, uh, it has your usual type controls, on off of course, and volume, distortion and treble. So it's a distortion pedal with a treble instead of a tone control. Now I'll hook it up and be right back. Alright, so now I have everything set up. One thing I forgot to mention is that the Purple Plexifier is not a cheap pedal. It costs $149 on Amazon, you might find better deals elsewhere, and €179 Euros here in Europe. And, well, what else do I have going here? I have a custom Strat with a mahogany body and a Seymour Duncan YJM Fury pickups. I I'm running it all into a Plexi and a Marshall cab and I have a delay set up in the loop and a volume knob that's set up in the loop so I can control the volume. Uh, apart from the purple Plexifier I also have a Fender Ingle Malmsteen Overdrive just as a kind of reference point for me and for you if you are new to the channel you don't know what type of sound I normally use as my kind of go-to sound. So. Um, and then I also have a noise gate because the fender can get noisy. Yeah, that's the fender. Now, here's my clean sound. So it's not entirely clean. Uh, this amp never really is. And here is the reference tone from my Fender Ingve Malmsteen Overdrive. And instantly this guitar is a bit out of tune. Hey, who cares? Uh, here is the purple plexifier. I'll leave the noise gates off and see how noisy it gets. Everything is set to 12 o'clock and it sounds like this. Not too noisy. And here's the sound. <laughs> Okay, it doesn't sound bad, I'll just turn on the gate, uh, it doesn't sound bad, but um, it's sounding a bit dark, so I'll just add treble, I'll put treble all the way up and see how trebly it does get. How trebly it does get. Hmm, what's a weird sentence. <laughs> so, here is the purple plexifier with volume and drive at 12 and treble at full. <laughs> Okay, it's still 
very much darker than the Fender Ingve Overdrive. That's not necessarily a bad thing, although I would have liked to have more kind of control over it so the treble knob didn't add too much treble. It could have more in my opinion, but it might be fine for you. I'll just turn it the other way so it's completely dialed the other way and see what that sounds like. <laughs> Didn't do too much, just turn it back the other way. Yeah, it seems like the treble doesn't do too much. Uh, but yeah, we'll add some drive and some volume, so I'll put those at 3 o'clock. And I'll just turn off the noise gate to see how much noise it makes now. Okay, so now there's a fair bit of noise going on. Uh, and it sounds like this. It sounds quite nice in my opinion, it's just too dark for me, but it works for some stuff and uh, makes this whole rig seem like a slightly different rig, which I suppose is kind of the idea behind the whole thing if it's called the plexifier, so it should plexify any rig. Uh, now I'm guessing it might work better with something like a fender amp, which might be a bit brighter than this plexi is. Uh, I'll just turn volume and distortion all the way up. Yeah, it signs, it signs, <laughs> it sounds very nice. I like the sound of this. The distortion doesn't actually sound like a distortion at all. I think it sounds like an overdrive, uh, at least compared to the other distortion pedals that I've tried. Uh, but uh, it's too dark for me. It also has a mid-range control, which you can adjust with a small screwdriver. It's located on the side. Uh, I'll just find the screwdriver and uh, fiddle with that a bit to see what that does to the sound. Okay, I bought this pedal second hand and I didn't know which position the mid-range control was in. It was slightly over the middle-ish. Uh, I have it all the way down now, so now it sounds like this. <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely unpleasant, so I'll just turn it the other way, all the way max it. So now the mid control is all the way up. <laughs> okay, so that sounds much more pleasant uh, this way. Uh, I prefer it somewhere in the middle maybe slightly over, but uh, the mid control doesn't rectify the problem that this is, for my taste, a bit of a dark sounding pedal, at least with this rig. Um, just as a point of reference, I'll just play the purple plexifier and then the Fender Ingve Overdrive so you get an A-B test. <laughs>
okay, so the purple plexifier does its thing where, um, because it's slightly darker sounding and probably because uh, of the amount or the, the way it distorts, uh, that there's a slight oomph there when you, with the picket sack. Uh, and I don't particularly like that. But it sounds very nice other than that particular thing. Now, it might, it's not my thing, but it might be your thing, and that's cool. Um, would be nice to try this out with a Fender type amp that's totally clean. It might do great stuff for that kind of an amp, uh, but uh, with this rig, it's not entirely right for it. Personally, I'd go with something like, uh, for this type of price, I'd go for something like uh, a Moonshine by JHS. I think it was slightly more pricey, but roughly the same price, or a Boss Angry Driver, or something like that. But on the other hand, the Fender Ingve Malmsteen Overdrive is way cheaper than the Plexifier, and in my view, it's much better. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought. And hey, if you're one of those guys who's recently been writing about uh, everyone having an opinion, kind of like everyone having an asshole, well, you can suck a turd. This is my opinion, and it's my channel, so I'll just say what I want. And if you think my accent's annoying like one guy did, screw you, I'm Finnish. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, and if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And, uh, like I said, comment, let me know what you thought, which one did you prefer, and uh, if you have any experiences with the purple plexifier, let me know. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already, because I make more of these videos all the time. And feel free to support me on Patreon, that also helps me make more of these videos. That way, you get an honest opinion, which is unbiased, because I don't get stuff for free, I buy it. And, hey, that's all I have for you this week, and, uh, not this week, today, and uh, I'll leave you with a bit of playing on the Purple Plexifier, and, hmm, it was good to have you along, and take care. See you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>